Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these Blue Fairy rondelle earrings. They are really easy to make and I'm sure with the step-by-step -step instructions that I'm showing you will be able to do them by yourself. If you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Uh, if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page or on my Instagram page that I posted below this video uh, I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a short clip of this video where in only three minutes you could see the whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not. This is on my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips. You could also go there watch some videos for beading inspiration and subscribe if you want and down there you will find the full list of materials linked to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using here for this video are faceted crystals also called rondelles in two sizes these are eight by six millimeters and these are three by four millimeters these are 10 pieces, these are 8 pieces. Here I use 8 beads in two colors. This is a really dark blue color and a silver color. These are 10, these are 2. And here I use 11 ohm seed beads in silver color, regular ear wires and jump rings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use similar size of thread or different type of thread whatever you like this is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers and now i'm going to take about three feet of thread on my needle which is about 90 centimeters and i'll be back okay and now i'm going to start my work by picking up eight by six millimeter crystal a seed bead a crystal, a seed bead, a crystal, a seed bead, a crystal, and a seed bead. Okay, so this is what I have on my needle four crystals and four seed beads. And I'm going to slide all of those down, leaving a small tail. And here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through this loop I've made and pull and then I will make one more knot and pull again. Okay guys now this is what I have and in my next step I'm going through the following crystal and when I pull my knot hides inside it and I'm exiting out of this silver bead and now what I'm going to take is one silver, one dark blue ato, and one silver. Okay, this is what I have on my needle and I'm going back in circle through the crystal and through the following seed bead. So as I'm exiting out of this seed bead, I'm going back in circle through it, okay? Uh, and in this way, I form a loop of beads here, okay? Now, I will repeat this. A silver, a blue, a silver. Go back. And I pull. And I'm going to repeat this two more times. Okay guys, so now this is what I have 
and I will go through my crystal through this silver bead and I'm aiming for this dark blue Ato bead and now what I'm going to take here are four silver seed beads one three by four millimeter crystal and again four of these seed beads okay this is what I have on my needle and now I'm going in my next ato okay and I pull I'm taking four seed beads one crystal and four seed beads okay and I go here and I will repeat this two more times okay now this is what I have after I finish this row okay and now guys in my next step I want to exit in one of my crystals here okay and as I'm exiting here what I want to do is take four seed beads okay I have my four here and I'm going back through this crystal okay like this then I'm going in this direction through just two of them two of the four beads then I'm going to take five seed beads okay I have my five here I'm sliding those down like this I will take one of my eight by six millimeter rondelles or faceted crystals sliding it down I'm taking three silver beads okay slide those down as well and now I skip them and I go back through my crystal and through all of the five beads that are coming after this okay you see I'm skipping those three beads and going through the crystal and through the five seed beads okay then I pull okay I'm pulling and now as I'm exiting from these two beads in this direction I want to go through the other two and in this way I will make this dangle here stay in the center okay now I'm going through the crystal in this direction like this and what I want to do is go here through all of those beads and exit through this dark blue a2 bead and I'm going to take three silver beads okay just like this and I go back here and through all of those beads in this direction okay like this then here what I want to take are five seed beads okay I have my five here and I go back through this crystal in this direction okay and don't worry that at this stage these beads move to the center we'll fix this later okay in the next thread path okay now in my next step I want to exit out of this dark blue bead and I want to take three silvers okay like that I go back here and I go here in this direction okay now I'm exiting through this crystal here 
Now I take two silver beads, one dark blue bead and two more silvers. Okay, this is what I have. And I go back in circle through this crystal. Okay. Now I go here and my goal is to exit out of my next dark blue atoll. And don't worry again that this bends to this side will fix it. Okay. And now I'm taking three seed beads. Go back through it. Like this. In circle. Okay. Then exit out of the next crystal. Okay. Now take five, okay, five, go back, and here, like this, take three, go back, okay, like this. Now I will make an additional thread pad to make these beads stay in a better shape. And how I'm doing this, I'm going through all of those beads in this direction. You could go and reinforce this dangle one more time, but uh, I prefer not to do this. I prefer this to move nice nicely okay now i'm going here through those beads in this direction and you see where i'm going i'm going through this bead that is one bead away from the blue bead and here i'm exiting one bead away from the blue bead and in this way i'm making my new thread pad and i make those beads stay here in the center and not bent to one side or to the other, okay? Then I go through here. And this time, again, I'm making this thread path where I'm going through these beads like that. And here I am one silver bead away from this bead here. You see where my thread is? My thread is here between those two silvers if you don't see it. And I'm going through this silver here. Then through the next two silvers. And this time I'm going through the second seed bead from here. Okay. Now guys, I will continue this, what I showed you here, until the end, and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and after I went around reinforcing my work, I'm here after these last three beads that I'm reinforcing, and what I want to do next is go in this direction, And my goal, guys, is to exit at the center of my work, where the crystals are, okay? I'm going here, and I'm exiting through one of my crystals. Now, in my next step, I'm going to take one seed bead, and as I'm exiting from this crystal in this direction, what I want to do is go in the opposite crystal and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. Okay, and I pull. So now I have this. Uh, you could skip this step with adding a bit in the center, especially if your thread is not clear as mine, because it will be visible here around the crystals. Okay, and now in my last step, 
I could do some additional reinforcement if I want to. And then what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. And how I'm making a knot, I'm making here a loop, choosing a place between two beads, making a loop, going twice through the loop I've made. Then I pull. And after that, I go through the following seed bead here. That's on my way. And I could repeat this step several more times. And when I'm ready, I'm always going through the following seed bead. And after that, cutting my thread. Okay. Okay, guys, now my earring is almost ready. But what I need to do is to add my ear wire. And how I'm doing this. I'm taking my jump ring like this. I will open this up with my pliers or you could do this with a pair of pliers if it's harder. And then I go through this blue A2 at the center. I'm going to add my ear wire and I'm squeezing back here just like this and now guys I have this and my earring is ready okay guys so now my easy blue fairy rondelle earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified twice a week when I have new absolutely free tutorial for beading inspiration. You could also like, share and comment I don't, and you don't know how much you helped me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook or Instagram pages that I share down there in description. And down there in description, you will also find a short clip of this video where in only three minutes, you could watch the whole project and decide if, if you like making it or not. This saves you time. So you could go on my second channel, Bijutel Fast Clips, and you might also want to subscribe there for new beading inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.